Good morning! <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Um, this is choking me a little bit. Alright, we are in our comfy onesie today because, as you saw, we're having a snow day. I'm so excited. Ugh. It's currently snowing a lot. I can't see my driveway, therefore I cannot go into work today. And thankfully, we saw this coming, so I had all of my patients rescheduled and whatnot a couple days ago. I'm, I'm just so excited to just have a good old fashioned snow day and just do nothing but read. I also like forced myself to sleep in today. What are we reading today, you might ask? We're gonna read Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I thought it would be the perfect cozy winter snow day read and I am pumped. So excited. Look at me reading books as soon as I get them. You know, I mean, we just did our book haul a couple weeks ago and I'm reading it in the same month that I got it. That's wild, that's crazy. No way. This is elite. Elite. There is a playlist. Oh, now I remember somebody saying that. I'm so excited. I wish I could like listen to music with words or like hit music with words while I read, but I cannot. I can only listen to like instrumentals and not even like pop cover instrumentals. Like it has to be classical or something I've never heard because then I just start bopping along and singing in my head and then I'm like, oh, I haven't read anything. Let's read the synopsis. Anastasia Allen has worked her entire life for a shot at Team USA. It looks like everything is going according to plan when she gets a full scholarship to the University of California, Maple Hills and lands a place on their competitive figure skating team. Nothing will stand in her way, not even the captain of the hockey team, Nate Hawkins. Nate's focus as team captain is on keeping his team on the ice, which is tricky when a facility's mishaps means they are forced to share a rink with the figure skating team, including Anastasia, who clearly can't stand him. Enemies to lovers. But when Anastasia's skating partner faces an uncertain future, she may have to look to Nate to take her shot. Sparks fly, but Anastasia isn't worried because she could never like a hockey player, right? I just love a fluffy comfort book and that's what Hannah Grace has self-labeled herself and I just love that. I've heard that there's like a very good mental health representation in this. Is it that movie Face Off or something? Cutting Edge. That was the OG. Oh, when I was growing up, I was obsessed with that movie. Well, let's go get cozy and just start reading and do absolutely nothing. Do I need this? Orange Dreamsicle Alani New, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Not today, not today because, like I said, we're doing absolutely nothing but reading today. Gyms are closed because the snow is still snowing. 
so you can probably hear my ASMR snowy crackly fire it's so comforting we're on chapter three which is on page 22 and I love the writing style I really really like Nathan he sounds like the sweetest guy I've only had one chapter it's dual POV it's dual POV my absolute babe and I've only had one chapter with him well with each of them I already love his vibe his energy his thoughts his acceptance his leadership I just love him and then Anastasia she's she has like a no strength attached thing with this guy named Ryan who's on the basketball team he also sounds so nice I don't really know 100% if he is but he he brings her snacks all the time he just he just seems so cute I'm also enjoying this the dreamsicle is super good I still think the berry pop flavor is my favorite flavor so Addison Ray's flavor I think that's my favorite still I try really hard not to look at anything 429 pages will I finish this today absolutely not also if you're wondering why I'm up here in my office one because I get to hang out with my books and two the lower level is just so so cold in my place it's so freaking cold so this is where I've been reading lately on my twin guest room bed I would love to get some cushions or more pillows or something but like make it into like a kind of like a couch but like it's a bed also you guys this onesie was like the best the best investment for my birthday it was a great birthday present to me from me it's so comfy it's so, the only thing I dislike is that it doesn't have pockets. I constantly am looking for the pocket hole. Let's keep reading. Okay, the way Anastasia talks about her planner, it's me. <laughs> but I don't do, when I was in college, um, because I was involved in so much and I had like four different jobs and was in a bunch of random activities my planner was beautiful it was lovely even in grad school when I had a bunch of assignments oh I lived with my planner my planner was my life do you guys remember in a New York minute with Mary Kate and Ashley and Ashley's character had that planner and it was her life and that was what I aspired to be. Like, I wanted to be that planner girly. Anastasia is so mature. <laughs> I could never, I could never see my situationship or like my F buddy flirting with another girl and not be jealous even if I didn't want to date him I could never I am I am too jealous I'm too jealous of a person to ever do that all right well anyway I'm on page 47 I'm reading very slowly mainly because I keep going on TikTok after each chapter and just scrolling for an hour hello update again um Erin her skating partner such a dick gosh she's so terrible I wanted to share with you these raspberry oranges look at that it looks like there's mold or something infected but they're so good do I think they taste like raspberries yes a very like hint they're a lot sweeter they're not as like citrusy as a regular orange um, but for my main course, this is red lentil pasta with ground beef, um, some pepper jack cheese, green onions, jalapenos, peppers. Oh, yum yum sauce, because the yum yum sauce is chef's kiss. But I usually will make this with red lentil pasta or over rice or over a sweet potato, and it is so good every single time. Like, I look forward to this meal 
every time I make it, which is pretty much every other week. I'm gonna eat my lunch and probably watch some YouTube while I do it, and then we'll get back to reading. Cause again, we're doing nothing today but reading and going on TikTok. <laughs> the way my jaw just dropped. Anastasia, you spicy lady, you. I'm on page 73. She goes, the only time I ever want to see a grown man on his knees in front of me is when his face is between my legs. Anastasia. Yes, queen. <laughs> Mustard. This is such a good graham cracker. It's a honey graham cracker. I haven't had honey in probably like two years or not like on purpose, mainly because of my IBS. I really want to add it back in because I love honey. Also got a protein shake. I'm just a little hungry, you know, how it goes. Laying around and doing absolutely nothing but reading really works up an appetite. It's also super warm. My zipper just keeps getting lower and lower. Very scandalous. At yeah, what time is it? Like 3.30 or something? Again, continuing alternating between TikTok and reading. Neato burrito. What page am I on? 119. Dude, I'm a slow reader. I just have to accept that about myself. But again, I've definitely been on TikTok so long. Mm -mm -mm. Gluten-free. The cinnamon ones are elite, but they're always out of stock. Mm. This is the pumpkin pie flavor. I don't remember if I put that in my last vlog or a couple vlogs ago. Mint chocolate chip is my favorite. Pumpkin pie, I wanted to try because I do love pumpkin pie. Um, it's okay. I'm used to it now. I liked mixing it with chocolate and I think that helped a lot and now I just like drink it because it's the only flavor I have left. I need to order more, but I'm waiting for the mint chocolate chip to come back. Stock. This is Legion, by the way. Legion Athletics protein powder, and it's probably the best protein powder I've ever had. It's not chalky, it doesn't upset my tummy, and it, it mixes really well. And it's pretty smooth. And like I said, I don't really like the pumpkin pie flavor, but I can drink it, not be like super sick of it. That's a one in my book. I'm super picky about my protein powders. What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna read it again. I'm literally crying over how cute Henry is. Henry is like the cutest little marshmallow, squishmallow, little puppy. I just love him so much. Oh, Henry. I just love him so much. I'm crying. It's okay. I'm fine. You guys, I've never been good with acronyms and I've never been good with like texting slang. What does FFS mean? Oh, for, <laughs> for fudge's sake. Why do I know these things? I think it's even funnier to spell it out fully, not the shortened terms. I don't know. Call me old fashioned. I'm on page 148, by the way. Um, you know, still scrolling through TikTok. It's like after five, just after five. Probably gonna eat some dinner, continue reading. It's so cute, it's so fun. It's a spicy, it's a spicy read. So, big fan. All the hockey boys are just so great, so wonderful. And 
from what I remember too, because I lived next door to that, a few of the hockey players back in college and I loved them too. They were so sweet. You know, they partied a lot and kept me awake, but nothing that my sound machine couldn't fix. They were so sweet. Oh, I miss the hockey boys. Cutie patooties. <laughs> you guys, it is 7.46 at, at night. I have done nothing but like be on my phone and read this book. I am like three pages away from being halfway. So I'm gonna say I'm halfway through. Goodness gracious. Um, I love it so much. There has been a conflict that has happened. Today has been a great day. I have not had a day where I just do absolutely nothing in a very long time. Because normally I am either like going to go work out on my days off but the gym is closed today or I'm cleaning or meal prepping or going to pickleball or volleyball or have plans because I am a social butterfly. So the fact that I got to just lay in this bed all day was amazing. It was so great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I don't know when I'm gonna get to do this next. I just needed that, that time to not feel guilty to have to myself. So I recommend that you take a day. Take a day for yourself to do absolutely nothing. And you know what? Tomorrow and the next day, I, I mean this weekend, I'm gonna be productive. I got some stuff going on. But for the most part, I'm so, it's just so, I'm so happy that I got to do nothing. It was so wonderful and I don't feel guilty about it. For my type three wing four ENFJ achiever, what else is there? Aquarius. Oh, I'm so happy to do nothing. This is great. This is such a great day. So thank you for being here with me. Well, I got to read and mumble about and you can hear the rest of my thoughts non-spoilery in my upcoming wrap up for February's wrap up because I will definitely be finishing this. If you liked hanging out with me in my impromptu snow day little vlog, please give this video a like. If you want to stick around and talk more book things, subscribe to the channel. That's what we do here, we talk about bookish things. And with that, respect others, respect yourself, and do something amazing with your day. Thanks, bye. <laughs>